This is the lock picking lawyer. The lock I have for you today is not a terribly high security lock. It is, however, a really interesting one that I'm excited to share with you. Now, from outward appearances, this thing looks like it came off the bumper of a 57 Bel Air convertible. But what it actually is, is a fully shrouded American Lock Series 10 padlock. Now, it appears to work by putting the key in from the very bottom where the, there's an opening in the shroud and pulling the entire lock body off, after which you can slide the shroud and shackle assembly off of the hasp. This assembly appears to be a factory arrangement. As you can see, it has a weld going from the shackle to the shroud that's chromed over, so it appears like this entire assembly was chromed together although I haven't been able to find very much about this. The lock body itself is relatively standard for an American Lock Series 10. As you can see, it has the older American Lock logo, Series 10 USA hardened, no date stamp like some of the newer locks have, and it has the wafer core that all the Series 10 locks have. And interestingly, the key has both the Junk Gunk Bros and the American Lock logos. So that, that may help date it. Frankly, I don't know too much about either when this was made, why this was made, or even what it was designed for. So if you have any information about that, I'd really appreciate you putting it in the comments. I mentioned that this was not a terribly high security lock, and I'm gonna show you exactly how easy it is to get into, because these wafer cores really are outdated. First thing you can do is use tools like this. These are Sparrow's wafer lock jigglers, and they're very easy to use. You just stick them in the keyway and jiggle them while turning, and if it's gonna open it, it'll open it pretty fast. If it doesn't, turn it around, and doesn't look like that one's gonna work, so let's use the next one in the, in the line. Nope, turn it over, and there we go, opened it up. Usually you can get into these locks pretty quick with these jiggler tools without much skill involved. But let's say you don't have them and you want to open it with normal picks. Again, not very difficult to do. I'm not even going to single pin or, pin or single wafer pick it. I'm just going to zip down the bottom bidding and the top bidding. This is a dual bitted wafer lock. Oh, I lost tension, but I still opened it up. So, very interesting padlock, a little on the older side, in extremely good condition, but I don't know too much about it. So I'm calling on the viewers of this video to help me out. If you know something, please put it in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.